what's going on guys it's gz welcome to my channel if you guys find this video useful and like it be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps my channel so there are two different set of builds for open world farming for black knight and in and in this video i want to talk about this one here the one that gives you the consistent pacing so you can feel actually more relaxed while farming in specific area and you don't have to do a lot of dashing and that is exactly what you are seeing here with a good bunch of movement speed and consistent pacing you can actually pretty much keep up your kill streak all the time and let me just share my builds with you guys and i am going to start with the set items here as you can see i am using shawl bars four piece here but my preference would be going with the four piece of bloom cards but i have not spent any this crafting set items yes uh, yet because i am working for inferno to wisp right now but bloom cards for this would be actually a better choice uh, whenever you dash you can get critical chance as well for three seconds but this isn't bad either and with that i am using shameless urge for the v2 two phase this is going to increase your duration for your skill siphon and also going to increase the duration of your bottle hob gloom task and shroud of night as well and bunch of things and for i mean bunch of things this is actually really good now let's jump into the set uh, i mean the essences that i was using for this one to keep a consistent pacing and trust me it it, it keeps your mind at peace when you have a consistent pacing and you don't have to dash all the time here and there and also it gets easier for, for people that are following you to understand what sort of pacing they need to keep up to maintain with you and therefore i was not using the spear dashing here and even though i also asked at one moment if they want me to slow down even more but this insisted not to and keep it up but anyway Horns of the Hex, that is what I am using for the Siphon and what it does is Siphon Blood is no longer channeled and now moves with you dealing damage and draining the life of nearby enemies. Also if you have an Awakened slot this is also going to increase your damage by 10% which is really good and with the V2's Urge and also the duration of beneficial effects in your family buff gear this will have only two second cooldown and this makes it really really powerful in my opinion then the chest here i am using chair of trend trade that is going to increase the damage of swarm of bats by 16% on mastery 3 and on mastery 4 I think that goes up to 19% and if you have a vacant slot again it will going to give you 10% more so 26% more damage and I was combining my bats with the siphon blood and also seeping vial was helping as well then here swan speaker for the bats which I am using and swan of bats now engulf you in the clouds of bats so they pretty much move around with you on top of you continuing damage to nearby enemies and damage increase by 12% on mastery or it will go up to 15 if I am not mistaken then here faces of fading mirth this is going to give the poison damage to your bats swarm of bats now also poison enemies causing them to take 3000 continual damage for three seconds and it goes up to 90 percent on mastery four then here broken course skew is what i am using for siphon when siphon blood damage the same enemy three times it causes them to hemorrhage dealing 
4000 additional damage and it goes up to 90% on mastery 4 then the second main hand weapon the beast slaver for the skewer it helps me leap with my skewer skill and with the mastery fall it will go up to 15% if i am not mistaken 12 6 or 18% yep it will go up to 18% then here mercy flag is what i am using for home offhand shadow edge now marks enemies causing them to erupt for 20,000 additional damage this is actually really good against elite when your skills are actually on cooldown and you need a big chunk of damage this is where it comes in really handy and also if you have a vacant slot you will get 10 percent more shadow edge damage and lastly hanging chalice there is another option here as well which gives you increased damage on the skewer i tried that but i find this much more useful for the enemies that are spread around me so you can ricochet your spear with this as well and it will go up to 90 person so this is my setup here and my gems let me show it to you guys i am using berserker eye bloody reach in my opinion bloody reach is not a good gem for black knight power and command would be a better choice then bloom cast is a really good one because it also trigger your portal hope and it is considered as a buff trigger the gloom cast so your bottle hope also get trigger and i am using the bloody reach for mobility and more damage mother lament is actually really good and it also takes effect from your v2 arch so you will get more duration seeping bile is actually really good for your skill that does continual damage and it increases the chance for seeping bile to get trigger in most enemies and then i am using fervent fang i have come i have come from the demon hunter so my setup gems are mostly for demon hunter but it is working really well for black knight as well and as you can see here i have shroud of night but i am not using any essence for it because it is automatically popping up every one and a half second and dealing damage here and there against enemies and it also ricochet enemies so there goes my setup for consistent pacing and relaxing farming for blood knight and i hope you guys find it useful and as you can see the streak is going really strong and i will be seeing you guys with some other videos as well and if you guys have any suggestion or want to ask something do let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys